How this homeless man became a PGA Golf Tour player. Today on his second PGA Tour, and surrounded by the scenic beauty of the Riviera Country Club, Willy Mack III is one of the most well-known upcoming golf players. But it wasn't like this always. For a long time, he didn't have a roof over his head or enough funds to eat properly. Welcome to 24 Golf. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of golf content. In today's video, we will take a look at how Willie Mack went from homeless man to PGA Golf Tour player and what the future might hold for him. So just sit back and watch the video till the end to know everything about his luxurious life. As we said earlier, Mack had been homeless for a period of time, but he isn't over it. This pro golfer and legend in the making started his life growing up in Flint, Michigan, and later he attended Bethune-Cookman University in Daytona, Florida. During his time at the university, he won 11 collegiate tournaments, and from then on he wanted to become a pro golfer. Mack imagined a frictionless rise to professional ranks, but that was far from the reality. After college, he barely had any money left, and he started staying with friends and surviving on the McDonald's dollar menu. Not a lot can claim to dislike the two-piece buttermilk crispy tenders or the onion nuggets, but eating at the Golden Arches every day and for every meal will do things to a man. Mac struggled through all this and tried to save as much money as possible to buy golf balls, secondhand gear, and gloves, and to cover the entry fee of the next tournament he could play in. He basically devoted all he had to the sport. He was so dedicated to the sport. When couch surfing with friends didn't work out, his only choice was to live out of his Mustang. He himself later recalled the moment in an interview saying it was a tight squeeze. That's both financially and literally, as sleeping in a two-door muscle car isn't really comfortable. We can sure imagine. This ordeal even has his father, Willie Jr., worrying about Mac. His father, who is a social worker in Michigan, also learned golf along with his son. And according to Willie Jr., it was heartbreaking to see Mac through those years. His father recalls the phone calls from back then when most nights he would ask something like, Are you going to be staying with some friends tonight? To which young Mac would reply, No, I'm going to be staying in the car. I don't want to be bugging people. To which his dad would promise that he will call Mac first thing in the morning. Willie Jr. still remembers those heartbreaking mornings when he would have to call to make sure his son was okay. Most days, Mac would answer the call, but some days he wouldn't. Later, when Mac would call back his dad, he would hear something along the lines of, Oh gosh, what's going on? Something's happened! From the other end, to which he replied simply, No, nothing happened. My phone wasn't charged up. Willie even recalled saying, Make sure you charge your phone because that's not good for me, and confessing, I don't sleep well and I can't concentrate at work when I don't hear from you. But there was a method to this madness. Mac used to drive a tournament, park in a hotel parking lot between cars, to stay as low-key as possible. He would use any public restrooms and available club locker rooms to shower and freshen up. Sleeping in a hotel parking lot has had the risk of being found out by the security and being kicked out. But his tinted windows provided him some much-needed privacy. But that's not to say it never happened. On a few occasions, he was asked to move or he wouldn't be able to sleep there. When asked about the situation, he replied that sometimes it got rough, but I always went back to what my dad said and never gave up. So unless something tragic happened, I was never going to give up. But none of them had any idea that they were kicking out one of the most talented upcoming golf pros. But he didn't have to continue playing this game of cat and mouse with the hotel security and living in a car as a couple he knew in Florida took him in. And he had been staying there until early last year. He moved out as soon as he was able to afford his own apartment. In the same interview, he said, I remember it like it was yesterday, but I've come a long way and I'm glad I'm not in that car. He still calls his dad every day, and we can all assume he is the proudest dad on the face of the planet when Mac hits a birdie on the course. But how is Willie Mac III's golf career so far? Let's take a look. He finally got his jump start in early 2021 when Kamayu Johnson, a regular on the Advocates Pro Golf Association Tour, contracted COVID. Mac got to take his place at the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pines in place of Johnson and shot 74-75, missing the cut by just seven shots. Nevertheless, this was his first time at a true pro golf event, and though he didn't perform like a seasoned pro, he was way ahead of any newcomers. 
Despite such a performance, he somehow was overlooked by everyone at Tory. He didn't seem to mind. Rather, he thinks that experience helped him a lot, and I played good at Tory. I was just in the rough, probably 90% of the time. I think it helped out a lot. But what he got was a ton of attention during his pre-tour press conference, as a lot of people wanted to know about him, but he wasn't ready to tell his story yet. In his own words, I think maybe in the early stages of it happening, it was maybe a little embarrassing, but I'm glad I went through it and it made me a better man and a better golfer. His first PGA Tour was the 2018's Latino America season, and he scored 3.8 birdies on an average with an average score of 70.20. His official career earning from that season was a little less than $32,000. On a pre-tournament round with the PGA champ Colin Morikawa, Mac played three holes and Morikawa noticed that Mac was anything but awestruck. In a later interview, Morikawa expressed, I think he birdied 10 and 11 today with ease. It was easy for him. Obviously, it's a Tuesday, but you can see he's got a game. He claims to have told Mac that they were all out here to win a tournament, and he could see that in Mac's eyes that he felt comfortable in that situation. Watching his son play in a PGA Tour, Willie Jr. recalled thinking, I'm working from home, so I probably won't get much work done. I'm gonna be glued to the TV and to my cell phone, watching each shot. His father also expressed his happiness for his son's long-awaited entry into the pro golf scene, one he has worked so hard for. And according to Willie Jr., it might not happen as quickly as you want to sometimes, but things come into alignment when you're trying to do something right. With this target set at ultimate success and no happy-to-be-there attitude, Willie Mack III has joined his second PGA, the 2021-2020 to Tour. So far in the tour, he has a total score of 146, but it's far from over. Rather, it's just the start. In his own words, I'm out here trying to win like everybody else. Tee it up like everybody else. So why not come out here and try to win? Willie's journey from an aspiring golfer, imagining a smooth entry into pro golf to becoming one, took a detour through a few rough years. Through these years, he couch surfed, stayed out of his car, used whatever public amenities he could get, and survived off of the McDonald's dollar menu. Or as he called it, he lived the real life for a couple of years. Other than his PGA achievements, he has won 65 times on various mini tours, and even received the Charlie Sifford Memorial Exemption, thanks to the tournament host and golfing legend Tiger Woods. What do you think about Willie Mac III's journey through those rough years to become what he is today? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of golf content. Also, share your thoughts and opinions in the comments box below. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you at the next one.